Today, we will talk about pets in the United States. And with a fun mini story, you will practice your English speaking. I'm sure you're going to enjoy answering many questions in English. It's like having a conversation with another person. Welcome to Speak English Now podcast with your host, Georgiana. The podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Hi, I'm Georgiana, your English teacher and founder of SpeakEnglishPodcast.com. And I'm back again to help you speak English fluently. So, how can you help me? It's really simple. Please share the podcast with your friends on social media. That would make me very happy. Before we start, subscribe to my free mini course on my website, speakenglishpodcast.com. Okay, let's get started. Nowadays, more and more people are adopting animals, and pet ownership in the States is on the rise. I had a dog some time ago, which was a beautiful experience. The connection between dog and its owner is always special, especially when you take them for a walk. A dog needs to go for long walks to be able to connect with you. Some assume you must give them their favorite treat to win them over. But that link happens when you take them out for a walk. There are few things like the unconditional love of a dog. It's a unique feeling when you come home after a stressful day and know that your dog is waiting for you, always happy to welcome you. In America, dogs are the favorite pet. Almost 40% of households have at least one dog as a pet. However, before adopting one, you should keep in mind that it requires training, daily walks, etc. In addition, owning a dog in the States is costly. Dog owners spend more than $1,000 yearly on vet checkups medications, and medical supplies. But, as I was saying, the relationship with a dog is rewarding. And if you haven't had a positive experience with your dog, it's probably due to a lack of understanding. The first time you adopt a dog, you learn on the fly how to handle it. In any case, I encourage you to try again. But if you're not yet ready for this, I totally understand. Although I've been fortunate with my dog because he was really sweet and obedient, I'm not yet considering adopting another one. Now you may wonder which is better, buying or adopting a dog. Although there is nothing wrong with either option, adopted animals seem to be very grateful. And since I've never had a cat, I can't speak much from personal experience. But I have some friends who adopted a cat a few months ago and they are delighted with a furry animal. Besides, cats require much less maintenance because they are more independent. Even so, a cat is still a great companion. In the States, cats are the second most preferred pet. And unlike dogs, cats don't need daily walks and are happy to entertain themselves. Okay, now we know a little more about pets. And you? Do you have a pet at home? You can send me a picture of your pet if you want. Okay, now let's continue with a mini story. I'm gonna tell a story 
but with questions. I use this technique in my premium courses, and it's very effective. First, I say a phrase with information. Next, I ask some questions. After each question, there is a pause. It's your turn to answer. After each pause, I give a correct answer. That's how I build the story. Okay, let's get started. Having a pet at home helps relieve stress. Does having a pet help increase stress? No, it doesn't help increase stress. It helps relieve and reduce stress. What helps relieve a stressful life? Having a pet at home. That helps relieve stress. What do you need to have at home? To feel calmer. A computer? A pet. You need to have a pet at home. Where do you need to have the pet? At home. You need to have it at home. Pets? Help reduce the feelings of loneliness because they keep us company. What do pets help reduce? The feeling of loneliness. They help us reduce the feeling of loneliness because they keep us company. Who keeps us company? Pets. Pets keep us company. Why do pets help us reduce the feeling of loneliness? Because they keep us company. That's why they help us. A dog at home helps us stay active. Since we have to walk it, does having a dog help us to lie on the couch all day? No, no, it doesn't help us lie on the couch, it helps us stay active. Does a dog help us get fitter? Yes, it helps us get fitter. We have to walk it, and so it helps us stay more active. What do we have to do? We have to walk the dog. We have to walk it. Why does it help us stay active? We stay active because we have to walk the dog. A dog helps us have a better social life because we interact with other dog owners. Does a dog help us talk to people more? Yes, it helps us. Talk to people more because we interact with other dog owners. Who do we interact with if we have a dog? Other dogs? No, not with other dogs. We interact with other dog owners 
That is, with people. Do we have a worse social life when we have a dog? No, no. We don't have a worse social life. A dog helps us to have a better social life. Caring for a pet increases the sense of responsibility in both children and adults. What does a pet increase? The sense of responsibility. Caring for a pet increases the sense of responsibility. What increases the sense of responsibility? Taking care of a pet. Does it increase the sense of responsibility in children? Yes, it increases the sense of responsibility in children. And in adults? Yes, also in adults. It increases the sense of responsibility. That is, we are more responsible thanks to caring for a pet. Okay, that's the end of this short exercise. If you find it difficult, that's normal. I recommend you repeat it several times, and if you want, on several different days. As you can see, through questions and answers, you can practice and improve your speech, just like in a real conversation. It is one of the techniques that I use in my premium courses. I recommend you to take a look at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. Okay, we have reached the end of this episode. Repetition will help you improve your English fluency, so make sure you listen to my podcast episode several times. See you soon. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.